Uh, hello YouTube, this is the President Michael back with another mail day video and I have um, several TTMs and some purchases to show you. Okay, first on to um, TTMs. This is a musician success and a rare success from the UK. This is from uh, Charlie Lansborough. First he sent me, I think this oh, is... This is a... Uh, Let's say five by seven about and the signature is right here. Yes, I used pictures of his different albums on back. I also got a note and answered some questions. I think the uh, assistant wrote it instead of him, but the answers came directly from him. Oh, this is a nice guy. You're pretty quick from the, from the UK. All right. Uh, here's uh, another rare success. I haven't gotten one of these in a while. A rare um, college head coach. This is this is Al Golden, and it's from. Um, make sure I got the right one. From uh, wait a second. Uh, I think University of Florida. I used to get a lot of these, and I used to pretty heavily collect them. But here it is, eight by ten. Signatures right there. And he sent an unsigned uh, business card, one of those fold ones. Oh, it's University of Miami. I mean. And I got in a real nice uh, Walking Dead success. This also came pretty quick. This is from Max uh, Colder. He played one of the um, walkers. To Michael, stay chill, Max Colder, and he drew a axe on an axe on top of his head. That's how he. That's how he was killed. Um, Andrew Lincoln killed him with an axe. So. She, so, okay. I got, uh, he signed, let's see, two index cards. Here's the other. And he sent me a nice picture of him in The Walking Dead, where he's getting killed by uh, Rick Grimes, you know, Andrew Lincoln. And there's Stephen Yoon, Glenn. I may think about sending this photo out to get signed by the other two. Right, the next two TTMs are really nice. There are a couple playbills success. Here's um, one from the play Once. And they even sent their own wrapper on it, which I thought was really nice. This came in pretty quick. Here's another good one. Now, I have not seen anybody else get this in unless I don't remember or I missed it. But this is from Macbeth. And I think there is four cast members. It's only signed that I see by three, but it has the real good one, Alan Cumming. And his signature is, um, I believe it's this one. Pretty sure that's it. Looks like it to me. Okay, um, a few purchases. Uh, this one's Australian Shepherds by Joseph Harnagel. It's a guide to them. It's signed right there. Here is Name That Dog. Dogs of Presidents, Kings, Queens, Governors, and Celebrities by Lynn Hammer. And this is actually a pretty interesting book. Show you the front. And it's not just signed, but it's also numbered. There's 
limited printing of 2,000 copies. This is number 677 out of 2,000. Okay, here's Battle for Wine and Love by Joanna Swank. And it is signed right here. Here's an autograph book from the 1998 Chicago White Sox. I'm assuming this was a giveaway. It was put out by Applebee's. And it's signed by two members of the team. First, Jerry Manuel. And Wallace Johnson. I also picked up another thing. It's not autographed. I wish it was, but I knew that ahead of time. I collect these, but this is a Packy Rogers Scout Business card for the Minnesota Twins. This has to be from, I wouldn't be surprised, the 70s because they haven't used this logo for a long time. Let me pull it out. I actually used to um, live by where he was from, where he lived last when I was living in New York. And I actually have his autograph on old Eastern League baseball from the 1940s. It's a team signed baseball from the Elmire Pioneers from uh, 1948 and 1946. Okay. And my last uh, purchases, these are just some baseball cards. Sorry, let me pull them out. i to pull them out of the wrap so you don't get the reflection. Here is um, Jeremy Jeffries. This is Acclaim Impressions from Tops. This is numbered 65 out of 590. And it's signed and game used. And to the next one. This is a dual sign card from Jose Capelin and Merkin Vel Veldes. Dual signature reflections from Upper Deck from 2005. And all these were only two, three dollars a piece. Okay, here's another good one. This is Sean Burroughs, the number of 246 of 1,295. Uh, let's see, it's upper deck from, where's the year? Okay, 2003. Of course, it has a game used patch um, jersey thing, I mean. Here's the back, and it's numbered. Come on, focus. Oh, you're not gonna focus, are you? There you go. Okay, the next one is um, Raynar Contreras, rookie, numbered 40 out of 100. Uh, this is from uh, 2008 Donruss. Kind of very reflecting, I think you see it right there. There's the back. There. Here's one from Daniel Carmarina. Tops. Um, 
sign and with a jersey. Uh, I think three jersey patches. This is number six out of 219, and it's from 2010. Come on, there you go. Okay, this is Austin Kearns, just minors, numbered 89 out of 300 from 2002. And I actually met Austin Kearns maybe five years ago at spring training. There's the number right there. Here's Bill Hall. Upper Deck Masterpieces, signed from 2008. Here's the back. Okay, a couple more. Almost done. This is from no Noe Ramirez. Number 213 out of 219 tops. Sign and with a um, three jersey pieces from uh, 2010. You saw one of these earlier. Well, different player, same kind of card. Okay, here's the last one. Sean Burrows again, numbered 739 out of 999. Signed and has a patch in it. Uh, it's from Upper Deck 2004. Like I said, these all these cards were like two to three bucks a piece. They're pretty cheap. Another thing I got, and I got actually, I'm only going to show one or two. I got these at Walmart today. They were on sale because they were supposed to be damaged. Because the outside, the wrap around it has a lot of sticky stuff on it, but the, but the um, binder inside, it has uh, 65 pages to put sports cards in. This was only four bucks, and I got like five of them. Normally, something like this, I've seen it for twenty dollars, and I was able to get five. So I won't be needing uh, card sheets for a long time. Okay, well that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or um, comments, uh, please um, post it below. And I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, and make sure you be autograph strong. Be autograph strong. And I'd just like to take the moment. Uh, of course, pretty much everybody heard about what happened in Boston. So I hope we um, keep them all in our prayers, our happy thoughts, and hope that everybody gets through this as best as possible. Of course, especially for the ones that got injured or lost a loved one, it's going to be very tough for them. But um, hopefully, I hesitate talking about this because I'm not the most eloquent speaker. But uh, let's just hope we could. Uh, this never happens again, even though it probably will. And it's just amazing, as someone mentioned on the news, how pretty successful we've been with stopping these kind of terrorist attacks with a bomb. I mean, we haven't had one in the United States since 9/11. When I what um, 12 years ago now. Well, anyways, let's keep all of them, all the people that's been affected in our prayers and our, and and, and our um, happy thoughts and, and hopes and everything. Well, anyways, this is the President Michael, and like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And remember, be autograph strong. Be autograph strong. Your president of the United States of Autographs has issued an executive order for you. See, yeah, you right there. I'm looking at you to be autographed strong. All right, well, that's pretty much it, YouTube. 
I uh, look forward to talking to you again, and I hope everybody has a nice day. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, YouTube.